In this video, we'll discuss about electric bulbs and LEDs. By electric bulbs, I mean incandescent lamps, those bulbs that produce a lot of yellow light and produce a lot of heat with the light. Okay, LED stands for light emitting diode, and this is how a typical LED looks like. Now, if we look at an incandescent bulb, especially when it's turned off, you'll notice that there's a tiny coiled up wire here that is producing heat and light. Now, that wire is called the filament of the bulb. Let me write it down. It's made of tungsten, so it's called the tungsten filament of the bulb. Now, when you pass electricity through this thin, thin tungsten filament, this tungsten filament starts producing heat and light. Okay, now, off to the LED. If you notice, there will be two wires that come out of an LED, and one of them will be slightly longer than the other. Now, the longer wire stands for the positive terminal of the LED and the shorter wire for the negative end of the LED. If in case we had to draw these um, incandescent bulbs or LEDs in a circuit, we would have to use circuit symbols, right? And this is how you draw the circuit symbol of an incandescent bulb. There is another in so circuit symbol for the incandescent bulb and this is how you draw that. I personally prefer the second one because it kind of re resembles the bulb a lot more, right? This, this, um, this loop seems to be something like the filament. Okay, now how do we draw the LED? This is how you draw the LED. You can pause for a moment and try to draw it on your own so that it registers. Okay, which side now is the positive side of the LED and which side is the negative side? Well, this is the positive side and this is the negative side of the LED in the circuit diagram. What happens if you connect it the other way? What does it mean to have a positive and negative side? Well, this means that the positive side is connected to the positive end of the battery and the negative side is connected to the negative end of the battery. And that means current should flow only in this direction. Now, what would happen if you forced current to flow in the opposite direction? What would happen if you connected the positive end of the LED to the negative terminal of the battery? and the negative end to the positive terminal of the battery. Well, if you did that, what would happen is that the LED would stop functioning, would most probably blow up, and would get spoiled. So always ensure that you connect the positive end of the LED to the positive end of the battery, and the same thing with the negative end. Great. Now let's discuss a few pros and cons of incandescent bulbs and LEDs. Incandescent bulbs consume a lot of power. Now that's because a lot of the electrical energy is converted into heat and a little bit is converted into light. So a lot of the energy is wasted in the form of heat. LEDs, on the other hand, do not produce much heat and so they consume less power. Incandescent bulbs produce yellow light whereas LEDs can produce any color light. We have white LEDs, we have red, green, blue LEDs, we have, you can produce any shade or any color that you want through an LED. Incandescent bulbs work both on AC current and on DC current, whereas LEDs work only on DC current. So that's a limitation of sorts for the LED. You cannot plug an LED into your mains and expect it to work. Okay, that would just blow the LED up. Okay. Now, an incandescent bulb runs for about a thousand hours before it gets spoiled. Whereas, the light emitting diode, the LEDs, run for 10,000 hours. That's, that's like 10 times more time, right? Okay, when it comes to price, the incandescent bulb wins. Incandescent bulbs are pretty cheap as compared to LEDs. LEDs are more expensive than incandescent bulbs. Great. Now we've gone through the pros and cons. Let's just kind of see how these things look in real life. Well, incandescent bulbs come in different shapes and sizes, and they're usually used for lighting or decoration. LEDs, on the other hand, have a very wide range of application. The most common application of LEDs is the LED bulb. LEDs are placed inside this bulb, and we have some circuits here so that this bulb can be used with an AC circuit. So LEDs directly can't be plugged into an AC socket. This bulb has some circuits here that help you use AC current to power up LEDs. Now, this is done because uh, as compared to incandescent bulbs, LED bulbs save a lot of power. Okay, another very interesting use of LEDs is decorative lights. LEDs are strung up together to decorate buildings, to decorate different things. Since LEDs consume very less power, they're also very good torches. Why? Because a battery would run out very quickly if an incandescent bulb was powered with the battery. 
Whereas an LED would run for much, much longer if powered to the same battery. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.